All right, in this video, I am going to uh, demonstrate how to change a uh, mixed number to a percent and vice versa. So let's just uh, first review very quickly what is a mixed number. A mixed number is something that might look like this, all right, and it's made up of basically two parts. This part here is the whole number. Okay, and this part here is the proper fraction. It's part of a whole, okay? So if I was to draw this, it would look like, uh, if, I, if we were talking about apples, then it would be 1, 2, 3 whole apples, and... One and, and half an apple. All right, so that would be three and a half. So that's what a mixed number looks like. Uh, and percent, you need to remember that first of all, the percent symbol looks like this, and it means out of 100. Okay, so let's suppose we uh, start with uh, the mixed number, maybe two and a quarter. All right, and we want to change that into percent. <clears throat> okay, well, um, if it's if the fraction part is something that you recognize easily, like it's a common fraction, like a half, a quarter, three quarters, then you can probably do it in your head. All you need to do is remember that um, to, or what I would suggest anyway, is to write this as a decimal first. So to write it as a decimal, we would have two. 0.25 okay remember this is the whole number and this is the decimal fraction okay so now that we've changed this into a decimal, it's very easy to change it into percent because when we change it into percent, all we do is we move the decimal point over two columns. So we go one, two, okay, so that's now where the new decimal point is, and you can see that our percent is going to be 225 percent. Okay, it is possible to have percent like that. Okay, so don't be don't be worried about it. Um, okay, so uh, let's try one more, and um, then I'll give you some practice questions. So let's say we have um, three and a third. Okay, again we change it into a decimal. Well, the three. Okay, is on the left of the decimal because it's where the whole numbers are. This is the units in the hundreds, tens, units column. All right, this is the units column or the ones column, if you know it by that. And then one-third, well, I already know that one-third is the same thing as three, 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 and it repeats. Okay, so we'll just put a dot over the three. All right, and now we change that into percent. Again... I have to remember that when I multiply, when I change a decimal into percent, I'm multiplying by 100. Okay, I'm multiplying by 100, and when I do that, the decimal point moves over two columns. So there's one, two, okay, so there's the new decimal point. So my percent is going to be 333. And but we've got a point three here. Well, we already know that point three is the same thing as one third. Okay, percent. All right. Okay, so I'm going to give you a few um, a few mixed numbers, and you'll stop the video. You'll try them. You'll work them out, and then start the video again and see if you got the same uh, answers as I got. Okay, so. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's try um, three 
and one eighth, uh, four and two fifths, and six and seven eighths. Okay, so give those a try. These are your practice questions. Stop the video, work them out, and then start the video up again and see if I got the same answers as you. Okay, good luck. Okay, so uh, we're going to just look at <clears throat> uh, these three questions and see if you got the same thing as I got. Okay, so the first one is 3 and 1 eighth. All right, well, I immediately know, if I'm changing this to uh, percent, I immediately know that the whole number I can write on the left of the decimal. Okay, so there's my 3 and my decimal. Okay, and just because 1 eighth is a common fraction, it's a common proper fraction. It's a fraction that we see quite a lot uh, in day-to-day -day life. I know that one eighth is uh, one two five. Okay, point one two five. If you're not sure, just watch the video on how to change a um, proper fraction into a decimal, and and you'll be reminded of how to convert that. Okay, so the next thing we have to do is we have to uh, uh, change this decimal into a percent. And you'll remember that when you change a decimal into a percent, you multiply by 100. And that means that your decimal point moves over two columns in the hundreds, tens units uh, chart. All right, so that gives us, you can see, 312 point five percent okay but we could also write that as three hundred and twelve and a half percent okay they both mean the same thing okay so let's have a look at this one uh, four and two-fifths again I know that four is the whole number so I can write that on the left of the decimal point there's my decimal point and again two-fifths that's a pretty um, common fraction and I know that that is uh, 0 0.40 alright and again I know that I need to multiply by 100 okay actually I'll take the uh, I think that's probably going to confuse you if that's there so I'll take that out okay so we're going to take 4.40 and multiply by 100 and that will give us let's see Ten hundred. There's our new place for the decimal. So it's going to give us four hundred and forty percent. Okay. And have a look at six and seven eighths. We know that the six is the whole number, so it is on the left of the decimal. All right. And we know that again seven eighths is just seven times uh, this whatever one-eighth is, seven-eighths is going to be seven times that. So that's the same thing as 0 0.875. And we're going to multiply that by 100. All right. And our decimal point is going to move over two columns. There's the first column, second column. So our new decimal point is there. All right. So that means that our new uh, percent is 600 and 87.5% or as I said above it can be written as 687 and a half percent all right okay I hope uh, that's been of some help to you and uh, I hope you've understood that good luck